Meantime, we're talking new cars. People have been trying to buy a lot of them if they can find them, but there's been a major shift in the market for new cars. Americans are now buying electric vehicles in record numbers. During the first 10 months of 2021, nearly 380,000 electric vehicles were sold in these United States. That is a 94% jump from 2020. Now, a little reality check. Electric vehicles still make up only about 3% of the total American car market, but that number is expected to skyrocket in coming years. And their growth is driving demand for lithium. That is the main ingredient in the car's batteries. Right now, America has just one lithium-producing mine. It's in southern Nevada, and it produces less than 2% of the world's supply. However, that is about to change, as our Ben Tracy shows us. He takes us to a remote part of California near the border with Mexico that some are now calling Lithium Valley. Hmm. Calipatria, California is not a glittering part of the Golden State. It seems like one of those parts of California that oftentimes people forget about. It's the forgotten corner of, uh, of the country. Uh, there's a tremendous amount of lack of investment. State Assemblyman Eduardo Garcia represents this region of Southern California known as the Imperial Valley. His district includes the Salton Sea, the largest inland body of water in California. It's also an environmental disaster zone, loaded with pesticides and heavy metals. As the lake dries out, clouds of toxic dust are causing chronic asthma and other respiratory diseases for the people who live here. But now the race to power all those electric vehicles automakers plan to sell could unlock a new future for this forgotten and forsaken valley. It's going to create an opportunity to transform uh, the economy. Underneath the Salton Sea is one of the largest lithium deposits in the world. The lightweight metal that fuels lithium ion batteries, which make electric cars run and also power everything from our cell phones to power tools. Lithium demand is now so great, it's earned the nickname White Gold. And this part of California is being dubbed Lithium Valley. The California Energy Commission estimates the Salton Sea could produce 600,000 tons of it a year. That's far more than current world demand, and it could be worth $7.2 billion. This really could be the future of American energy production. Absolutely. Rod Caldwell is the CEO of Controlled Thermal Resources. The company just built this 180-foot-tall rig on the shore of the Salton Sea, the first part of a $500 million project to extract lithium. It is drilling a well 8,000 feet down, where the lithium is found in superheated salt water that can reach 700 degrees inside ancient geothermal reservoirs. So this lithium has always been here, but nobody really cared about it until now? We all knew it was here, but at the time, lithium was, wasn't really a market for it. Are you at a point where as much lithium as you can get, you can sell to an automaker? Yes. So if we could get more drill rigs like the one in the background going at once, we have customers for sure. General Motors is making a multi-million dollar investment in the Salton Sea project to get first dibs on the lithium as it plans for 30 fully electric vehicle models by 2025. Right now, most lithium comes from evaporation ponds in South America and mines in Australia. Almost all of it is processed in China. The Biden administration says securing a domestic supply of lithium is now a national security issue so we don't have to rely on other countries for this vital source of energy. Given this is an American resource, is this lithium going to mainly go to American automakers? 100%. 100%. 100 at this stage. Caldwell's company plans to build this geothermal power plant that will provide a source of clean, renewable energy along with the lithium. This process has a lot less impact on the environment compared to mining lithium, which consumes a lot of water and leaves potentially toxic residue behind. Just down this dirt road, an existing geothermal plant is switching gears to focus mainly on lithium production. These things are no joke. <laughs> Eric Spomer is CEO of Energy Source. He says when they opened this plant a decade ago, geothermal energy was the focus and this liquid lithium solution was simply a byproduct. Well, lithium was not worth very much 10 years ago. So the economics of lithium have really changed the game. So you have a lot of opportunity here. Yes, and it's a big place. I mean, there's a lot of opportunity for a lot of us. At the Salton Riviera, there is never a let up in progress.
Opportunity has been promised in this desert for decades. This unusual city has a date with destiny. The Sultan Sea was created in 1905, when springtime flooding on the Colorado River breached a canal. In the 1950s, it was briefly a playground for the wealthy and well-known. But runoff from nearby farms eventually helped create a toxic stew, eclipsing any hope of a thriving resort destination. The hype is real. Eduardo Garcia says this time is different. There's potential for thousands of new jobs and a tax base that could finally help clean up the environmental mess. You sound excited about this, but oftentimes these companies will just bring in workers from somewhere else and it does nothing for the people that live here. That's true. We have introduced legislation to make sure that the workforce comes from here. And he hopes his neighbors will play a big role in jumpstarting America's electric vehicle future. What we'll see is a community that is far more thriving than what it is right now. For CBS Mornings, Ben Tracy in California's Imperial Valley. Boy, somebody's looking at that right now and says, I see business and job opportunity right. there. And, wow. you know, this is in batteries for our phones, batteries for yeah. power drills, electric vehicles. You can see why it's a national security issue to have it here in America, a resource that we can, can mine and, and generate ourselves. Yeah. yeah, and helping out that local economy. Yeah, it's huge. Clearly they need it as yeah. well.